This yoga practice is designed to bring awareness to the pelvic floor muscles and strengthen them. If you want to learn more about why it's important to keep pelvic floor muscles strong, follow the link on your screen. For this practice, you will need two yoga blocks or two thick books, hopefully uh, the same thickness. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin. Welcome. We will begin in a comfortable seated position of your choice. So take a moment now to get settled. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breath. Little by little start to deepen your inhalation and lengthen your exhalation. And gradually try to take your inhalation to about six seconds and the exhalation to about six seconds as well. As you continue to breathe like that, bring your attention to your pelvic floor muscles. And with the next exhalation, practice gently contracting your pelvic floor muscles in a similar way like you would do if you were trying to stop the flow of urine. Gently, without over-tensing, contract on the exhalation, and then release the contraction toward the end of the inhalation. Do that for a couple more breaths. And now we will practice a breathing technique called Krama Exhale that we will be utilizing throughout the practice. So exhale fully first, and then gradually inhale. As you begin to exhale, contract the pelvic floor muscles. Pause for a moment, maintaining that contraction. Then continue to exhale, contracting your abdomen. Pause for a moment with your pelvic floor muscles and your abdomen contracted. And on the inhale, gradually release from the navel down toward the pubic bone and then all the way down into the pelvic floor. And let's do that again with the next exhalation. For about three seconds, contract your pelvic floor muscles. Pause, maintaining the contraction. Continue to exhale for about three seconds. Pause, maintaining the contraction. And with the inhalation, gradually release from the navel to the pubic bone, and then down into the pelvic floor area. And let's continue like that. Every exhalation, with every exhalation, contract the pelvic floor muscles first, then pause for a second or two, and then contract your abdo abdominal muscles, pause for a second or two, and with the inhalation, release from top to bottom. Two more cycles like that on your own. Try not to tense the muscles too much, just gentle contraction. Our goal is to establish control here. And then whenever you finish your current cycle, go ahead and transition onto your hands and knees. Take a deep breath here, and with the exhalation, go into the child's pose. Place your hands on your lower back. Next time when you inhale, lift up on your knees, sweeping your arms out and up, reach up high. With the exhalation, turn to your right, bringing your arms out to the sides, look back. With the inhalation, raise your arms up, turning forward. 
As you exhale, turn to your left, arms out, look back. Inhale, turn forward, raising the arms up. And with the next exhalation, gradually move down, chest towards your thighs, hands to your lower back, forehead to the ground if it reaches there. We'll continue with that on the inhale, lift up on the knees, sweeping the arms, full deep breath. Exhale, turn to your right, arms out. Inhale, turn forward, arms up. Exhale, turn to your left, arms out. Inhale, turn forward, arms up. And with the exhalation, gradually move down, chest over your thighs, hands to your lower back. Continue like that on your own. Make sure that the breathing stays deep. And then next time when you inhale, once again, lift up on the knees, sweeping the arms up. And this time stay here, bring your arms down. Step your right foot forward. Make sure that your foot is slightly in front of your knee. You can always put some padding underneath your back knee if you need to. Just make sure that you're comfortable. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Next time when you inhale, raise your left arm, bending your front knee a little bit more. Lift the chest up. And with an exhalation, return into the starting point, lowering your left arm down. And we'll do that again on the inhale, bend your front knee, raise your left arm, lift the chest. And with the exhalation, come out, lower the arm. Two more times on your own, on the inhale, move forward, lengthen through the left side of the body. And gradually contract your abdomen on the exhale as you come out of the pose. And again. Full deep breath. Now go into the pose on the inhalation. Stay here and exhale. Now you have two options here. Next time when you inhale, you can raise your right arm up as well. So both arms go up and stay in this position. If you want a little bit more challenge, curl the toes of the back foot under. And then lift your back knee off the ground, coming into the lunge position. So decide which option is best for you right now. Stay here. Next time when you inhale, lift the chest forward and up, away from the navel. Lengthen. With the next exhalation, contract your pelvic floor muscles for about three seconds. Pause. Then contract your abdomen for about three seconds. Pause. And with the inhalation, release the contraction from the top toward the bottom. With the exhalation, again, contract your pel pelvic floor muscles for about three seconds. Hold. Contract your abdomen for about three seconds. Hold. And on the inhale, release the contraction from top to bottom. Continue to breathe like that. With the exhalation, contracting your pelvic floor and lifting it up slightly. Pause, then contract the abdomen. Pause, inhale, release. One more breath on your own. And with the next exhalation, bring your back knee down if it was raised and lower your arms. Place your right knee down next to the left one and move into the child's pose, chest toward your thighs, butt toward the heels, arms along the body. Relax your neck and take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Whenever you feel ready, come on up on your knees again. Then step your left foot forward. Once again, make sure that the foot is slightly in front of your knee. Place your left hand on your front thigh. Next time when you inhale, bend your left knee and raise your right arm forward and up. Lift the chest away from the navel. And as you exhale, return into the starting position, contracting your abdomen. Again, inhale, move forward. Lengthen through the right side of the body. Don't tense the shoulders. And as you exhale, contract the abdomen and come out. Do that two more times, trying to keep your breathing deep. About six second inhalation and about six second exhalation.
Next time, move into the pose in the same way. Stay here and exhale, contract your abdomen. On the inhale, raise your left arm up as well. So you can stay here or you can curl the toes of the back foot under and lift your back knee off the ground, coming into the lunge position. If you're in the lunge, make sure that you have a 90 degree angle at your front knee. With the next inhalation, lift the chest forward and up, not back. And with the exhalation, gradually contract and lift your pelvic floor muscles. Pause. Continue to exhale as you contract your abdomen. Pause. And with the inhalation, release the contraction from top to bottom. And again, with the exhalation, contract your pelvic floor muscles for about three seconds. Pause for a moment. Continue to exhale, contracting your abdomen. Pause for a moment. And on the inhale, release the contraction from the navel down into the pelvic floor. Take two more breaths like that. And then with the next exhalation, lower your back knee down to the ground if it was raised. Bring your arms down. Bring your hands down to the ground. Curl the toes of the back foot under. Lift up and little by little walk your hands to the middle. So you end up standing on your feet with your legs wide apart, bent forward. Place your hands on your ankles or keep them on the floor next to your feet. Whatever works best. Relax your neck. Next time when you inhale, bend the knees and pull them out to the sides, lifting the chest up, away from the navel. And with the exhalation, bend forward, relaxing the neck, relaxing the shoulders. Keep your toes pointing slightly out in this position, just a little bit. On the inhale again, bend the knees and pull them apart, lifting the chest forward and up. And with the exhalation, bend forward, straighten the legs best you can, relax your neck and shoulders. Do, do that wide squat two more times, following the lead of your breath, keeping your breathing deep. And after you finish with that, with the exhalation, press your feet firmly into the ground. On the inhale, bring your arms out to the sides, lead with the chest and go up into standing. Reach up high and with the exhalation, bring your arms down. Now keep your feet wide apart and turn the toes out like a ballerina. Make sure that you're still stable in the pose. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, bend the knees, pulling them apart, but keeping your upper body upright and place the palms together in front of the chest. It's a goddess pose. With the inhalation, go back up, reaching up high. And on the exhale again, deep squat, pulling the knees apart, palms together in front of the chest. Upper body stays raised. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up as you straighten the legs. With the exhalation, contract the abdomen and bend the knees, palms in front of your chest. One more time, inhale, go up and lengthen. As you exhale, squat down. Stay here, keep the palms together in front of the chest if possible. Make sure that this position doesn't bother your knees. If it does, you can lift up a little bit more or stop altogether. So stay in the pose. As you inhale, lengthen up through the top of the head. Next time when you exhale, contract your pelvic floor muscles, lifting them up slightly for about three seconds. Pause. Continue to exhale, contracting your abdomen. Pause. And on the inhale, release the contraction from top to bottom. And we'll do that again. As you start to exhale, contract your pelvic floor muscles for three seconds. Pause. Continue to exhale and engage your abdominal muscles. Pause. And with the inhalation, release from top to bottom. Do that for two more breaths on your own. Breaking the exhalation up into two parts. Good. 
when you finish with your current exhalation. On the inhale, sweep the arms up, stand up, reach up, and lower your arms down as you exhale. This time, turn your feet so that they are parallel to each other, still wide apart. Bring your arms out to the sides as you inhale. And with the next exhalation, twist, bringing your right hand down to the floor in front of you, right in the middle, looking down. And on the inhale, go up into standing, arms out to the sides. As you exhale, bring your left hand down to the center, look down, turning your body. And on the inhale, go back up into standing. Let's do that again. Bring your right hand down to the floor, look up this time, trying to stack the shoulders on top of each other best you can. Inhale up into standing, arms out. On the exhale, bring your left hand down, turning your body, look up. On the inhale, go back up. One more cycle like that. Bring your right hand down as you exhale. Turn your torso, look up. Inhale up into standing. And as you exhale, bring your left hand down, turning your upper body, look up. And inhale, go back up. Now we'll change it a little bit. So with the next exhalation, bring your right hand down to the ground the same way you did before, twisting. Look up, stay here. With the next inhalation, bring your left arm over your head. Look at it. And with the next exhalation, raise it back up toward the ceiling, following it with your gaze. And we'll repeat that. Move your left arm forward, looking at your hand. And as you exhale, raise it up, deepening the twist. Keep looking at your hand. One more time. On the inhale, bring the arm over, following it with your hand, with your eyes. And with the exhalation, raise the arm back up, deepen the twist, reach up toward the ceiling. And on the inhale, come up into standing. Let's take it to the other side. So next time when you exhale, take your left hand down to the ground, looking up. With the inhalation, bring your top arm over your head, look at it. With the exhalation, raise the arm up and reach up toward the ceiling, deepen the twist. On the inhale, move your top arm forward, looking at your hand. And as you exhale, move it back up. Continue to look at your hand, deepen the twist. One more cycle. On the inhale, move your arm forward, lengthen. And on the exhale, raise the arm up, following it with your eyes. And on the inhale, come up into standing. Bring your arms down. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a couple of breaths. Full deep breaths, paying attention to how you feel. And then whenever you feel ready, sit down on the floor or blanket, whatever feels more comfortable, cross your legs. Just an easy pose, sukhasana. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. Take a deep breath. And with the next exhalation, start to bend forward, gradually walking your hands forward in front of you. Get into the position that feels appropriate for you today. Relax your elbows down, relax your shoulders and your neck. Stay here. Every time you inhale, lengthen slightly from the tailbone into the top of the head. And with the exhalation, contract your abdomen and settle down a little bit deeper into the pose. And again, on the inhale, lengthen from the tailbone into the top of the head. And with the exhalation, contract your abdomen and go a little deeper into the forward bend. Take a couple more breaths like that. Don't force anything. And then with the next inhalation, little by little, make your way up. Now we will need those books or yoga blocks, whatever you have handy. So grab those and put them next to you right next to your right hip and right next to your left hip. Place your hands on the books. Roll the shoulders back. Keep your ankles crossed. And then next time when you exhale, press down with your hands and try to lift your butt up away from the ground. 
Once there, with the next exhalation, lift your pelvic floor muscles and try to lift your feet off the floor as well. So you're kind of hovering up over the floor with the weight resting on your hands. If you can't lift the feet, no big deal, just keep them there. Now stay in the pose and every time you exhale, contract your pelvic floor muscles and your abdomen, thinking of that upward lift. On the inhale, release a little bit and with the exhalation again, contract the pelvic floor, lifting it up and engage your abdomen. Try to take two or three more breaths here in the pose with your feet raised or your feet touching the ground, whatever works best for you. Make sure you're not stressing your shoulders or your wrists here. If it feels like it's too much for them, stop. And with the next exhalation, release. Sit back down. Move the blocks or the books out of the way. And transition into the child's pose. Relax your neck. Take a couple of breaths here. And now we need to mobilize the shoulders after the previous pose. So go ahead and place your hands on your lower back. With the next inhalation, lift up on the knees, sweeping your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, gradually contract your abdomen, bringing your chest down toward your thighs, butt toward the heels, hands to your lower back. And again, inhale, lift up, leading with the chest, nice wide sweep with the arms. And with the exhalation, slowly move down all the way down, relaxing the neck. Let's do that two more times. Nice wide sweep as you go up, lengthen up. Exhale, return down into the child's pose, hands on the lower back. One more cycle like that, full deep breathing. When you finish with that, transition down onto your stomach. Place your forehead on the ground and your forearms on the floor. Make sure that you're not tensing the shoulders. Put your feet together. Bring your attention to your pelvis. And with the next exhalation, do your best to anchor down through both hips. It's super important for us to keep the pelvis leveled. Next time when you inhale, lift your chest and both legs, bringing your feet wide apart. Stay up. With the exhalation, bring your feet together and squeeze if possible. On the inhale, bring your legs wide apart. Lift the chest up a little more. And as you exhale, come on down, feet together, forehead to the ground. And again, as you inhale, lift the chest and your legs, moving your feet wide apart. Exhale here, bring your legs together and squeeze. Inhale, move your legs apart, chest is wide. And exhale, everything down, feet together. Two more cycles like that. Inhale up, feet apart. Exhale, feet together. Inhale apart, chest is wide. Exhale everything down, feet together. Do it one more time on your own, maintaining nice deep breathing pace. And whenever you finish with that, rest here for a moment. And then roll onto your back. Hug your knees to the chest. Take a few deep breaths here and circle the knees away from each other a few times. Nice big circle with the knees. And then whenever you feel ready, cross your ankles, reach for the opposite feet with your hands. So right hand will be on the left foot and left hand on the right foot. Move your knees wide apart. With the exhalation, gently pull your ankles in towards yourself while pulling the knees apart. And as we continue with this, we will include our Krama exhale as well. 
So take a deep breath in. And with the next exhalation, gradually contract your pelvic floor muscles. Pause for a moment. Continue to exhale as you contract your abdomen. Pause for a moment. And on the inhale, release the contraction from the navel down into the pelvic floor. We'll do that again. Contract your pelvic floor muscles for about three seconds. Pause. Continue to exhale and continue to contract your abdomen. Pause. And inhale, release the contraction from top to bottom. Do that for two more cycles on your own, breaking your exhalation down into two parts. Whenever you finish with that, let go of your ankles. Put your feet on the floor about hip distance apart. Extend your arms along the body. We're going to do a bridge pose with one arm movement. Keep your weight even between the feet. And then next time when you inhale, slowly roll your hips up, raising your right arm up over your head. Reach up. And with the next exhalation, slowly roll down, lowering your arm and turning your head away from the moving arm. Next time when you inhale, roll back up, raising your left arm up, returning the head to the center gradually. And with the exhalation, roll down, lowering your left arm and turning your head away from the moving arm. And do that again. Roll up, raising your right arm, lift up and lengthen through the front surface of the body. With the exhalation, roll down, turning the head away from the moving arm. And again, inhale, roll up, raising your left arm, head returns to the center. And exhale, move down. Do it one more time on each side. Full deep breath, at least six second inhalation and six second exhalation. Longer if it's comfortable. And when you do an even number on both sides, come down, hug the knees to the chest, take a breath or two here. And then little by little make your way into the comfortable resting position of your choice. Whatever you choose to do today. You can keep your legs straight, you can bend the knees. You can use props to accommodate yourself, whatever you like. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breath. Every time you exhale, do your best to relax your body fully. And that also applies to your pelvic floor muscles. For now, we don't want to do any contraction, any work in the pelvic floor area. Do your best to relax them fully. And as you continue to breathe like that, try to take your inhalation to about 8 seconds and your exhalation to about 8 seconds as well. Or longer if it's comfortable. Take another breath or two here. And then little by little bend your knees. Roll onto your side and transition up into a comfortable seated position of your choice. On the floor, on a blanket or in a chair, whatever works. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breath.
And once again, deepen your inhalation to about 8 seconds and your exhalation to about 8 seconds as well. Take a few breaths like that. Continue to breathe as I explain what we're going to do. We will keep the inhalation at the same pace, but we will begin to break the exhalation up again in two parts. So inhale for about 8 seconds. And then next time when you exhale, contract and lift your pelvic floor muscles for about 3 seconds. Pause for a moment. Continue to contract your abdomen for about 3 seconds. Pause for a moment. And then inhale, releasing the contraction. Inhale for about 8 seconds or so. And we'll do that again. Contract the pelvic floor as you exhale for 3. Pause. Continue to exhale for another 3 seconds or so. Pause for a moment. And then inhale, release the contraction. Do that for 2 more cycles. 3, pause, 3, pause for your exhalation. And then on the next cycle, let's see if we can take it to four. Pause, four pause. So inhale for about eight seconds again. Exhale for about four seconds, contracting and lifting your pelvic floor muscles. Pause. Now contract your abdomen for about 4 seconds, pause, and inhale for about 8, releasing the contraction gradually. Try not to lose the contraction all at once. And do that again, contract your pelvic floor muscles for 4 seconds, pause, contract your abdomen for 4, as you continue to exhale, pause. Inhale, release the contraction from top to bottom. Do that for two more cycles. Four pause, four pause on your exhale. And on the next cycle, let's try to lengthen our pauses to maybe two seconds. So next time when you exhale, contract your pelvic floor muscles for about four seconds. Then hold for a couple of seconds, a little bit longer. Now continue to exhale, contracting your abdomen for four seconds. And again, pause for a couple of seconds, maintaining the contraction. And on the inhale, release again from top to bottom. And again, as you exhale, contract your pelvic floor muscles for about 4 seconds as gradually as you can. Pause for a couple of seconds. Continue to exhale as you contract your abdomen for 4 seconds. Pause a couple of seconds. And inhale, release from top to bottom. Continue to breathe like that. Just making those pauses a bit longer. Maintaining the contraction that you've established. Whenever you finish with your current cycle, just let go of all contraction. Inhale for about 8 seconds. Exhale for about 8 seconds. You don't need to count the seconds anymore. Just establish a, a pace with a deep inhalation and long exhalation.
And as you continue to breathe like that, bring your attention to the point of contact between your body and the floor or the chair, whatever it is you're sitting on. And as you keep your attention there, with every exhalation, imagine becoming a little bit more settled in the pose, a little bit more grounded. Continue to breathe like that, cultivating that sensation of stability and support. And notice how that makes you feel. What is your overall response to the practice today? You can stay here for as long as you like. Thank you for joining me today. Hope to see you next time. Namaste.